I want to talk about Lenovo. Hey, maybe you're going to tell me, hey, Beanie, I'm not interested because Lenovo is a computer, is a PC maker. And why should I be interested in this company? Well, what if I tell you that Lenovo is quietly entering into the AI server and is competing and is in a similar business as this company, which is called Super Microcomputer, that went up 380% since Gen 2023 this year? What if I tell you that when I ask ChatGPT, which company in Asia is expanding into the AI server business? And then the answer that came out from ChatGPT is Lenovo. Hello, this is Bini here. Today, I'll be talking about Lenovo, presenting from you from its business aspect and from the chart aspect. And if you would like to get more recent update, remember to scan this QR code so that whenever there's breaking news, breaking information, I'm just going to send it to you in Telegram because it does take time for me to produce a video. Otherwise, let's continue to watch further. Before this, let's get you interested a little bit about why I want to talk about Lenovo is because Lenovo quietly built into the AI server business in China and many parts of Asia. Not only that, um, one of the company, which is this one called Super Microcomputer, went quietly up along with NVIDIA. NVIDIA was that hot stock, right? But actually, Super Microcomputer went up about 380% since the start of 2023. You can see how well it moved up. And if you caught this, you'll be up 330%. Then I asked ChatGPT, what is the business of Super Microcomputer? It said here that SMCI is a technology company that specializes in providing advanced server solutions. So they started off with building customized server system and they moved on to the huge server. And that's used for the data center, for the cloud computing, for the enterprise IT, and of course, AI application. So I asked ChatGPT what Lenovo is doing in terms of AI business. And of course, before I recorded this, one or decide to record this video, I already know that Lenovo is into the AI business, but it is one to be funny a little bit because then many YouTubers are recording videos of asking ChatGPT and to do some portfolio and that return like 300% or $100,000, etc. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT is saying here. It said that Lenovo has been actively involved in the AI business. And these are some areas. So one of the things I want to talk about, which is very similar to Super Microcomputer, is about these data center solutions. Lenovo is building this data center solution that incorporate AI accelerators such as GPU and AI specific chips into their server offerings. So these data center solutions are designed to handle AI workloads and support the increasing demands of AI application. That's what ChatGPT said. I think that I wanted to explore a little bit more into Lenovo in terms of what it said, okay, what the company said on 14th of June, it said here that Lenovo grows AI infrastructure revenue to over 2 billion. That means that it is increasing its AI investment and it just unveiled the next phase of its growth strategy with an additional 1 billion investment over three years to accelerate AI deployment for businesses around the world. I do not know whether this is going to be beneficial, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check on the chart because this is what I'm good at. I want to see whether the chart is showing that enthusiasm from the deployment of the Lenovo into the AI business. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like? What I can say is that the chart doesn't look like super micro computer. Super micro computer is just one straight line up and this Lenovo is flat. But the good news is that do you see this cup and handle? Let me just draw that cup and handle, massive cup and handle for you. So that's your cup and this is the small little handle. Of course, in this cup and handle, this cup and handle has been building for since 2016 until now. So that's about seven years of carbon handle. If it's broken, then yes, this carbon handle would be really very massive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this carbon handle sort of a neckline and it hasn't broken yet. All right, but I want to investigate into the recent data. That means, you know, and uh, if you look at the recent data, I'm seeing another 
cup and handle. So that's your cup and handle. Let me just draw that in. So this could be your massive cup and that's your minor handle here. So again, we need to draw in the neckline and that's the neckline. Well, it seems to suggest that you know this neckline might or might not be broken. I'm not too sure because the brick wasn't very clean. And I want to draw in another one more lever here, which is this horizontal lever, and that's the recent high of Lenovo. Price is being respected or resisted in this recent high here, and the price is around 960. So this is a very obvious recent high of Lenovo, and uh, recently attempt to break it but it's not successful okay uh, so i can only say that for this cup and handle for the, the market to believe that you know lenovo is doing a good job in the ai then there must be a breakout above 950 that means lenovo must break out minimum above 950 to complete this cup and handle pattern of course then you can ask me what are the nearer resistance level by looking at the day chart i can see that there's another cup and handle a minor cup and handle pattern here uh, that's around this place the recent uh, price here right so that's your small little cup and a small little handle let me just draw that in a small little cup and maybe a multiple handles here Okay, the only thing I want to talk about is take a look at this trend line that I've drawn in here. And I assume that I did a good job with drawing in the trend line. It seemed to suggest that there was a break. Okay, so that was a break here. And in one of the videos, I talk about looking for a break and then a retracement. So there was a break out of this trend line here on these two green bars, okay, on a higher volume. And when price is retracing right now near to the trend line support, and I would really want to put in a minor support here to the recent high, and that's around 860 level. And right now, the retracement is having lower volume, which is good, right? It means that uh, when people are looking to sell, they are not selling in a huge volume. Okay, that means that whoever who bought in earlier are still keeping their purchase. Um, so uh, key levels to look out for, and that would be around 860 as the first support. But I do admit that there might be a possibility for price to move down a little bit if there should be a deeper retracement, especially to close this gap here. Although I think that the gap had been closed. Okay, but anyway, this is one of the minor support, and then um, that's about. 835 or 840 and then the near-term support which i think is very strong it's about 860. let me know what you think about lenovo and if you do like this video and you find it useful for you remember to hit the subscribe button and as well as the like button so that when i make new videos you will be the first one to be notified thanks a lot for watching and i see you next time